Hello everybody and welcome to episode 177 of the Let's Play World. Let me get you caught up on a couple things. If you joined me on the live stream, you saw that we got some work done on one of the in-between spaces. So between the statues and the picnic area, we went and landscaped this area here and it looks really fantastic. Let's jump down real quick and I'll show you. We have this nice little river. Now on either side of the river, we've got very kind of lush and overgrown landscape. Rapid here. And it looks really, really great, I think. Love the little black stone accents. I think that looks super cool. So this means, if I can take off here, that means we can take a couple of things off of the wall of tasks. So specifically, what have we done? Formal garden, we now have a maze, we have a fountain, we have the statues, and we have the picnic area. Boom. In between spaces, not quite done. We got one more in between space here, right next to our maze and the statues. And I'm not sure what to do with this space yet. If you have ideas, leave me a comment, let me know. We're gonna have a path here, right over there, that is where the slime farm is. And that's really the only things we've got to contend with. We've got a lot of space here. So we're gonna finish that one up eventually. Other thing we did is some nether work. We finished the nether tunnel to the mangrove swamp. Pow, nice. Nether tunnel to Mesa. That's what we're going to work on today. We got a start on it last episode, and today what we're going to do is build some rings floating in the nether to get us across to our hub. Speaking of the hub, I did some work between episodes just to kind of clean it up and texture it a little bit. So let's run into the nether and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, we're going to run over here. Okay, here is what I did. I wanted to add more texture because it was looking a little flat. So I did trap doors on the ceiling and on the floor, a couple of buttons, and then I surrounded the frog lights with fences. And I think that purple goes real well. I kind of like that beaming over bright, almost like a fluorescent light. I got some feedback that some folks thought it was too much. And I think this helps kind of temper it a little bit, but leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Another thing I did is I kicked the portal over and back one. So it sort of sits back in a little bit of an alcove here. Gives us a little bit more room to land when we're coming in. And I think it looks real good. Let's see if I can fly back here. Well, sorta. On top, I did this glass thing, just to make it look a little bit magical, a little bit fiery. And then you can see down here, did some magma, some crimson stuff. I also put the crimson stems in the side here and some of the vines, just to make it look a little bit more natural. And I think it looks really, really good. It's hard to see from here, but I also kind of built up the backside a little bit. So it has this nice curve to it. And again, I think that makes it look a little bit more whimsical. Pretty cool. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to build a bunch of these rings going out in this direction so that we can fly from here out to the Mesa. Last episode, we built this tunnel that goes from the Mesa out to just the empty nether, just out to nothing. Hello, Gast. This is going to be story of the day here, just Gast after Gast after Gast. Think what I'm going to do in order to figure out where to build these rings is we're going to do kind of that 
stepped thing like we did on the other side. So this will open up really wide and then I'm just going to pillar out as far as I can so that we can figure out where to build these rings. And then once we have the rings, we will remove the path. Now the thing is, there's a bunch of stuff in the way out here. And I'm thinking we might just tunnel through it. Once we get out there, we can kind of make some calls, you know, if the terrain makes sense to kind of bob and weave, but I don't want it to be an obstacle course. I want it to be a pretty straight shot. So first things first, finish up this tunnel, and then I will pillar out into oblivion, and we'll start building some rings. Okay, we now have this widened entryway here. Once I pillar out over the ocean, I'll clear out more of this here. And when we look back, you can see we have that similar look. Nice big entryway to fly into. So the next thing I just need to do is build a route over the lava ocean. So now we have two rings, and once we fly through this ring, this is where it starts to get messy. Lots of lava over here, and lots of basalt delta. So I think what I'm going to do is start tunneling through this, just kind of building a tunnel through it. fly through this little basalt area and we've got one more ring lots of lava boy there was lots of lava in here and now we're gonna fill her out again Okay, another ring. We've gone about that far since the last one. I've been spacing them out so that you can see the next ring, but you can't see the one quite past that. That seems to be pretty logical spacing for me. And it looks like we are changing biomes, so this might get a little easier. Basalt is no fun to mine. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep barreling on here. Going straight ahead and keep building this tunnel.
This one is a really long tunnel. This is the last stretch here, and so we'll end up having several rings leading us out here to the hub. So yeah, this is the final stretch, and I've just about gone halfway through my pick, so I'm hoping I've got enough to get through this. things I'm noticing. One is we're starting to get piglins spawning in here, so that's going to be kind of fun. And then the other thing I'm noticing is it's kind of boring. You know, we will have these yellow rings to fly through, but otherwise it's kind of plain. So we might want to come up with something to make it a little bit fancier or a little bit more interesting. If you've got ideas for how to dress this tunnel up, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. One short. <laughs> well, we'll have to make more yellow concrete and finish that up. Let's see here. Okay, from here, that looks great. A little further away than that one, but that's okay, because there's really nothing in between here and there. Uh, let me grab more rockets real quick. Okay, let's see what happens. Fly on through here. Nice. That worked out pretty well. I heard lots of awful things. Skeletons and ghasts. But it works. I'm going to grab one more piece of yellow concrete and then we'll tear this temporary path out. And that completes our nether tunnel. So let's give this thing a proper trial here. So when we look out into the distance, all we see now is just a big yellow ring. So uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. So far, so good. Ooh, piglins. Lots of piglins. Amazing. 
Gassed City. Well, that was quite a chore, but that turned out really, really great. So there's three things I need you to leave me comments about. One of them is, how do we make this tunnel look more exciting? What should we do with this space in our formal garden? And lastly, do you like this design with the frog lights, or do you like something more like this? So let me know what you're thinking. And I think that's where I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Please like and subscribe if you wanna follow along on the adventure. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh,